Cristiano, what are your diet secrets? How do you look so good? It's the same, it's stupid questions. Okay, my man, you know, the people want to know. If you're not gonna tell us, then let's find out. Cristiano Ronaldo do Santo Chaveiro. This man, you know, looks amazing, 37 years of age. So what does he eat? What are his diet secrets? I'm Dr. Victor, I'm a diabetes doctor. And today, this is what we're gonna be talking about. As you can imagine, he puts a lot of focus on his diet, the way he eats, so he invests a lot of time and energy and money with his food. So as you can imagine, he eats a healthy diet, high protein, as unprocessed as possible. And he says he eats about six small meals per day. Now you might think, why does he need to eat six small meals per day? Well, him being a professional football player, him having to be at peak performance, it's beneficial to eat smaller meals per day that are gonna give you sustained level of energy for his workouts, for his training, for you know of football on the pitch. Also, you're gonna always replenish your glycogen levels in the muscle, and this is gonna give you heightened performance and endurance with the workout and the training. So I think it's interesting to see how this 37-year-old man, uh, which looks like he's freaking 20 and uh, still peak performance for his age, what does he actually eat to, to have such uh, physique and to be at the top of the football level? So first meal of the day, breakfast, he eats uh, cheese and ham and a low-fat yogurt. So already a high-protein meal, pretty unprocessed, also probably he eats some bread, so he has some healthy carbs right there, and low fat. I have no idea why uh, he eats low fat yogurt uh, in the morning, because he still needs a lot of calories, but whatever. After breakfast, he has lunch number one, which is a chicken and a salad. So this guy is eating like a bodybuilding cutting meal, but he's a professional football player. High protein meal, veggies, high fiber, so healthy meal overall. Then guess what? He has a second lunch because just one lunch is not enough for Cristiano Ronaldo. We need a second lunch. Tuna with olives, egg and tomato. Finally some fats uh, with the lunch. Healthy fats, yeah, from olives, eggs and uh, again high protein, some vegetables. Then he could have a snack, fresh fruit, avocado toast. Again a good choice, fresh fruit, healthy carbs are gonna fuel the workout. Avocado toast, again a source of uh, carbohydrates and also healthy fats. He's gonna burn so many calories uh, with his workout uh, regimen. So he needs a lot of fats, healthy fats. Now, if you're curious how many calories does Cristiano Ronaldo burn uh, in a regular day, we can put his height, 1.87 meters, his weight, about 85 kilos, and his age, so 37 years, and we get about 2,500 calories per day. But this is for an average man, which he has a whole lot more burning throughout the day. So it is said that he does about three to four hours of football practice each day. He also goes to the gym five days a week in a competitive football match you're gonna burn in an hour about 700 to a thousand calories so you also add these up so that's gonna get you about 2,000 even 3,000 more calories burned per day and adding everything up you're gonna get about 4,000 to 5,000 calories burned per day that's a lot of calories so of course you're gonna see him eat a lot of healthy fats avocado olive oil probably, olives, because you can't eat 5,000 calories per day of just healthy, low-fat foods. At dinner time, he's gonna eat uh, fresh swordfish and salad. Again, an amazing healthy meal. This guy is like bodybuilding diet. That's why uh, he looks the way he does, because he freaking eats like a competitive bodybuilder and preparing for a cut. Can you guess what Cristiano Ronaldo's favorite dish is? You're not gonna guess. It's some weird uh, traditional dish. Bacalao abras, which is a mixture of cod, onions, thinly sliced potatoes, and scrambled eggs. There, there's like two ingredients there that shouldn't be uh, in this dish. But or whatever floats your boat, maybe it's actually tasty, I don't know. He also eats plenty of fruits and lean proteins. At restaurants, Ronaldo says he often orders steak and salad. He never eats anything frozen. Everything he eats is fresh. I kind of disagree with this. You can still eat, get a lot of nutrition, pretty much on par with fresh fruit and vegetable if it's frozen. So there's no, there's not like studies or proof that frozen produce is worse than fresh fruit. He also really likes Coca-Cola. It's like his favorite drink in the whole wide world. Coca-Cola. 
I'm joking, of course. It's said that he avoids alcohol and carbonated drinks, so rarely drinking any alcohol and uh, no sodas, no pop, no Coca-Cola, just plain, beautiful, scrumptious water for him. I'm stuffed. Also recently, in the last few years, he hired a personal chef that uh, makes professional, you know, beautiful, healthy meals for him. Of course, when you have money, you can just hire a chef and he's gonna make whatever your heart desires tasty and also high uh, in nutrients, healthy foods. But in the last few years, uh, it was revealed that Cristiano Ronaldo does have occasional cheat days and it's like, there's nothing wrong with that, especially when he's burning so many calories each day with the training, the workouts. When you are young, you're not thinking about too much about that nutrition and uh, to eat good or to drink good. You just thinking to, to play, to enjoy. And of course, he realized how important his nutrition is. The body is part of my work. It's a weapon for me uh, because it's it's something that, you know, I, I have an advantage of the other players. He also is partnered with Herbalife, which, uh, you know, he gets supplements from Herbalife and shakes and all that. He has a special brand, 24 Herbalife, that uh, specifically makes products for top athletes and Cristiano Ronaldo. And I also made a video researching Herbalife, the products. I was a distributor, so I kind of knew what uh, uh, the products are about. Are they healthy? Are they nutritious? Do you need them? You can watch the video. You know, I'm not that certain that he consumes everyday supplements and the products from Herbalife, but whatever, you know, he's sponsored by them, so. Now, you might not be that impressed by Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, he looks good, but uh, he's a professional football player. He has a lot of money and time to look good. It's kind of his job, he's active, but uh, not necessarily. He can still uh, pretty easily lose weight with the amount of muscle mass that he he has because he has such a high energy maintenance throughout the day, 4,000, 5,000 calories. So he has to eat a lot, frequent meals. And it's good to know that this dedication to nutrition and his nutrition plan has helped him be on the top level of performance wise throughout these years. So if we take a look on the most valuable players on the planet, over 30, let's say, okay? So, and Cristiano Ronaldo is 37, keep that in mind, okay? Number one is like uh, Kevin De Bruyne, which is 30 years, 90 million euros and uh, yeah we go down also Lionel Messi uh, might have heard of him but he's 34 years on 17 for 37 years Cristiano Ronaldo which is 35 million euros at 37 years of age still don't believe me just watch don't believe me just watch don't believe me just watch and if we go even older so older than 34 Lionel Messi is first with 60 million euros uh, valued and Cristiano Ronaldo second but three years older than him and 35 million euros okay also he has another secret for his aesthetics but face aesthetics a special device that works your facial muscles how about uh, we see other players uh, at the same age as Cristiano Ronaldo what uh, their values are yeah uh, how about that what you're gonna see is that I have to go a whole lot through this list to get another player that is 37 or higher. The next player on the list that is still 37 years of age and has uh, the highest value after Cristiano Ronaldo, so 35 million euros, is Thiago Silva, which is 2.5 million euros. So that's a big jump from, uh, you know, the same age but 35 million euros. So this is a testament of his work ethic and also his nutrition because he fueled the workouts and his body right now. That there's also Zlatan Ibrahimovic, but this guy is not is, is not like a human. He's like a lion or lion blood to him. Yeah, he also enjoys some cake from time to time. Come on, he's a human. He's allowed to enjoy a piece of cake from time to time. Cristiano Ronaldo is known for many things. Top professional athlete, amazing body, amazing work ethic, amazing straight face when uh, People around him from Japan think he's Brazilian, but actually he's from Portugal and being able to keep a straight face. He also has a stepbrother or something and his name is Cristino Ronaldo, he's from Turkey. Jokes aside, I really admire this guy, the work ethic that he's been able to put through, focus on nutrition and a pro player, being focused on his craft. So he's extremely motivational and also being able to keep an amazing physique shown throughout all these years and still at a high level football wise. Ronaldo is also the only human on the planet to be made from him a special cyborg that's gonna rule the world in like 10 years or 20 years. This is uh, the specimen. See? Yeah, 
I like the guy, but it's not like always when I'm training at the gym, I'm wearing his CR7 underwear. That would be really cringy and awkward, you know. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. <laughs> it's my only pair, okay? So don't, uh, you know, slash me in the comments. Also, please leave a comment about Cristiano Ronaldo's diet. What do you think? Is it uh, easy to maintain uh, this type of diet? I think difficulty-wise, it's like a 2 out of 10, it's not that difficult, it's pretty varied, pretty okay, you know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share if you enjoyed the video because it helps growing the channel and we'll see each other next time. Salut!